lovely Libras. This is Debs and this is your TGIF for Friday the 19th of July 2024. Libra, it's uh, the end of the week. I hope you guys are well. Let's dive in and find out how your person's feeling about you. This is the Light Seers Tarot. All the decks are listed as normal in the description box below. The link to my website's there if you'd like a reading. And of course, the link to join the channel too if you're interested in membership. So Libra, I'm getting a really calm energy. <laughs> Lovely. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Friday, the 19th of July, moving into the weekend and a brand new week. And a brand new week. Hold on, guys. Sammy's at the door. Hold on. All right. Disaster averted. He's a rescue kitty and he just missed his mama. Okay, so we had a cuddle. Everything's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. All right. So Archangel Michael, what do we have for my lovely Libras? For Friday the 19th of July, moving into the weekend and into a new week. Thank you, Michael. Okay, guys. Whoa, the King of Swords. Libra, you may be thinking about an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, masculine, or this could be you. Or you may be thinking about a situation involving legalities, a contract, a court case, something like that. The Three of Cups. The Five of Pentacles. Wow, the tower. And the four of swords. What is going on here, Libra? What is going on here? The two of swords. You're blocking someone out here. Because with the energy of the moon, you don't trust their motives. With a five of wands, you're sitting in a lot of internal conflict. But you simply want to move to calmer waters. Okay, Libra. I think this is you dealing with a king of swords that you believe is strategic. You may feel they want to reconcile with you because they simply feel left out in the cold. Or you may feel, Libra, they want to reconcile with you because they haven't got any money. It's a tower moment for you, realising that this person may have planned on using you. And with the Four of Swords, this is you keeping to yourself in a very self-protective energy, right? Locking yourself in at home and just trying to get through this. With the Two of Swords, you're going to block communication because you simply feel they're being deceptive. And this is you not wanting any drama in your life. And this is you letting this person go. You're detaching. Seven of Cups. Yeah, you've been feeling emotionally confused about this for the longest time. With the Five of Cups, this is you feeling very unhappy Maybe unhappy about the situation you found yourself in before. Maybe they caused you stress and drama before. Yeah. I'm so sorry, guys. Three of Swords is... I'm heartbroken. Libra. Because of the Seven of Swords. You believe someone is wanting to reconcile with you to take what they can from you and it may even be financially, and then just to leave you. You've got a really horrible feeling that this is why this person wants back in your life. And it's stressing you out. Yep, yeah. page of wands, you may call this person out. You may call them out. It could be a shock. 
This is you thinking, I have to stand up for myself. I have to stand up for myself because I simply think this guy is being strategic. Underneath the deck, Libra, the Empress. You're coming through powerful and abundant. With the energy of judgment, Sagittarian energy, this is a really serious judgment call for you. This person wants to come back in. They want a passionate new start. But with the energy of the Four of Cups, Libra, you're just not happy. I mean, this is you thinking, I don't believe this person genuinely really loves me. With the energy of the Devil, Libra, this could be a very attractive guy, very sensual, wants to pull you back in, but you know that it will be a bad idea. You could be connecting to a Capricorn. This is someone very sensual, very attractive. They know what to do to bring you back around. But Libra with the Ten of Pentacles, you may feel that this person either wants to move in with you and live with you. This is you believing this person just wants to live a lovely life off your back. This is someone who may want to move in with you and then say to you, sorry, I lost my job, right? Or this is you worried, Libra, that this person wants to marry you for your money. With the energy of the world, Libra, I think this is you making the painful decision to let this person go. They may have been in and out of your life for quite a long time. I think this is you deciding to do the right thing for you, okay? I know, guys, it's not what you want to hear, but to be honest... You're not happy with this person anyway, Five of Cups. They brought a lot of pain and heartbreak into your life. And with the Seven of Swords, this is someone still being sneaky. You know? So, Libra, let's get some messages from the angels. Let's see what the angels have to say, okay? All right. Archangel Michael, what are the messages from the angels for Libra, please? Hmm. Libra, they want you to sort of nip this in the bud quite quickly. They want you to take action. Be assertive. Libra, the angels are saying you should stand up for yourself. Be assertive, take action. Be assertive and take action, okay? You're ready. You're ready to do it. Because I think, Libra, you've been realising what this person has been trying to do. And this is you thinking, I just have to be open and honest. As in, I don't think you've got the right intentions. I don't think you genuinely love me. I think you want to live in a really nice home or marry me for financial security. It may be that you have to be that blunt. It may be you have to be that blunt, okay? In the near future, in the near future, be assertive, you're ready, take action, okay? Yeah, you know you need to. You know you need to. Yeah, you need to. But remain positive, Libra. Okay, remain positive. Because I feel that something wonderful is going to happen a year from now. For some of you, you're thinking, well, you know, I'm so attracted to this person. They're so romantic with me. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, no, you're not supposed to be with this person, Libra. Let them go. Success. So a year from now, there's going to be success. Now, that could be success in Korea. It could be in romance. But I feel the messages are very clear. In the near future, you're ready to be assertive, take action. OK, but remain positive because a year from now, there's going to be success. You know what this person's all about, Libra. All right, guys. Now, let's get some messages from this person to you. I feel you're closing out the cycle. I think the angels are guiding you to do that. Let's see what they'd want to say. 
Okay. All right, hidden truth. Let's see what this person would want to say, Libra. I wish I could take back my words. So they may have said some hurtful things. They may have said some hurtful things, Libra. I know I messed up everything. Wow, I think this person messed up everything for them. So this person may have romanced you before, Libra, but they screwed up somehow. They're coming back in again, Libra, but I don't know, guys. Seven of Swords, be really careful. Yeah, their life is not as together as it seems. They may have an addiction. They may be just fly by night. They may just not be able to hold down a job. Hmm. You were the best thing in my life. It's as if, Libra, they put you on some kind of pedestal. They thought, wow, you know, Libra's really attractive. They've got a great job. They've got their life sorted. And then they screwed up. And this is them thinking Libra was the best one. But it's almost clinical. You were the best person that I could have chosen. You had the most to offer me, right? I don't like that. I don't like that, Libra. No, no, no. It doesn't feel right, you know? I mean, where's the love? Yeah, I knew exactly what I was doing. This is someone pretty calculated, Libra. They had a plan. They had a plan. Yeah, they don't want you to leave them behind. They somehow feel, Libra, that you can get them out of the mess that they might have created for themselves. They see you as their safe haven. But Libra, you will not be used by this person. No, no, no. You will not be used by this person, Libra. Mm, they lied to you. Wow. Final message. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Well, Libra, that day is fast approaching. They're coming in, but they're sat in the Seven of Swords and they're looking at long-term stability. Mm -mm. Lock the door, throw away the key, put down the shutters. Libra, no, 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 protect yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't think the angels want you to sit there in stress, but be assertive and say no, okay? All right, guys. Now, from here, let's move into a second reading. I'm going to cleanse the deck. I'm going to cleanse the room. Let's find out what the next few months are going to bring, Libra. Let's hope we have some lovely positive energy coming in. All right. I'll see you there. All right, guys. Here we go. This is the Arcanum Tarot. And let's see what the next few months are going to bring. Here we go. Archangel Michael, what do the next few months bring for my lovely Libras? Thank you, Michael. What do the next few months bring for Libra? Thank you, Michael. Okay, wow, that's a good start. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Mm. So Libra, I don't know, you could be being approached by Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn, or you could be getting some kind of pay rise or bonus. This could also be a win, could be a windfall of some kind. Four of Swords, yeah. I think, to be honest with you, Libra, this is you healing from understanding that this person who was pursuing you didn't have the right motives, didn't have the right intentions. Yeah, this is you going for new love. Wow. And this is also you very strong in the knowledge that you sat in self-love. You are not going to be used, Libra. The world. Wow. You may be going on the internet to meet people. You could be traveling. You may meet someone new if you travel. Seven of Cups, Libra, you're looking at other options. 
You're leaving this past person behind. Very exciting. Libra, two of wands. You're standing at crossroads wondering who you're going to end up with. The sun. You may be getting communication from someone who lives at a distance. They could be a Leo. Or they could be a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. All right, Libra, the death card, major change and transformation. Or for some of you, you could almost definitely be moving forward into a new relationship with a Scorpio. Very nice, Libra, Ace of Pentacles. At the same time, I think you guys are concentrating on your careers. Oh, you're building the Ten of Pentacles. Libra, look at you go. Hmm. You're looking at the past for some reason. You're deep in the past or you're looking at your savings. Libra, I think after this issue with this guy who almost certainly was after your stability, you're going to be a bit cautious with this King of Cups. You're going to keep your finances to yourself. You're looking at your savings. You've worked so hard to achieve what you have. Do you want to jeopardize it by moving into a relationship? For some of you, you're being very, very logical, feet on the ground at this point of time. Is it worth it? Is it going to put my financial stability at risk? Wow. With a seven of wands, Libra, you are being a little bit defensive with this guy. Okay, Libra. Queen of Swords, and you've got questions, okay? So Libra, I think this is you coping with the aftermath of realising that this other guy wanted to use you for money, stability, you know, your lovely home, right? Maybe if you had a decent job, you felt that he could come and live with you rent-free. Whatever he was hoping to achieve, I think it hurt you deep down. And this is you making sure that whoever the King of Cups is, is wanting to be with you for the right reasons. I think you're still going to develop this connection, but you're going to be protecting your money somehow. Somehow. Underneath the deck, Libra, we have, yeah, the King of Swords. This is a guy who's really strategic. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, masculine. You keep thinking back, realising that this guy may have tried to use you because he was sitting in the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, he was struggling financially. It caused you to feel really burdened with the Ten of Wands. It's as if I know what he's really after, you know? Knight of Swords, I think you're going to have the courage to call this guy out because you felt he wanted to sit in the King of Pentacles energy. You felt he was after money. He may have wanted to marry you for money. I think with the page of wands, this is you meeting this king of cups. He's coming in with a knight of cups energy, very soft, soft energy. And I believe with the three of wands, Libra, your ships may come in with this guy. This may be the right guy for you. So Libra, let's see if this is going to work out for you guys. Let's do that. Wow, good start. We have the star. <laughs> okay, nice. That could be a dream come true. And with the Ace of Wands, a passionate new start. Wow. This is looking good, Libra. Yeah, you're manifesting this new relationship. You've manifested in this King of Cups. What are you manifesting, Libra? The Ten of Cups. Wow, there's a lot of love here, Libra. This is what you wanted. This is what you wanted, Libra. Not someone who wanted to sort of ride on your coattails. Yeah, no, you're manifesting love. Wow. And a soulmate to boot. Two of Cups. That's beautiful, Libra. Wow. Um, 
I'm going to say whoever's resonating with this, this is you finding a lot of love and happiness with this King of Cups. So my beautiful Libras, all's well that ends well. Just make sure that you push that other guy away, okay? So Libra, here we go. Messages from the universe for you. We have this masculine who is coming in. I love the fact that we've got a dove of peace. This is someone who looks very stable, very, very grounded. He looks reliable. And with the number one, this is a new guy. Okay, a new guy. Beautiful energy, Libra. Beautiful energy. <laughs> we have a Christmas tree. Oh, Libra, there could be some exciting news around Christmas. I also feel with six and one here, which is seven, this is divinely guided. But there could be some exciting news towards the end of the year. There could be some exciting news. Okay, what is that? Oh, okay. Well, we've got a tower moment. All right. Okay. Okay. What's the tower, Michael? I don't want to pull a card. Yes, he's saying yes. Oh, Libra. The tower moment could be a proposal. Look at that. Wow. Yes. So um, this guy could be proposing around Christmas time. That, for me, looks really clear. My goodness. Thank God for that. Okay, so Libra, this is your person. Okay. What a relief. So, my lovely Libras, let's close with our usual message from Archangel Michael. Here we go. Archangel Michael, may we have your closing message of guidance, please, for my lovely Libras. Thank you, Michael. Closing message of guidance for Libra. Thank you. All right, Libra. Yes. Detach from the situation. Archangel Michael is telling you to detach from the other person, okay? Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and this situation. So, Libra, push the other person away. They only wanted stability, okay? You know that they're toxic. But also detach from feeling fearful that this King of Cups is wanting the same. I don't think he is. I think there's genuine love here. Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, Libra. You know, this is beautiful. So guys, I am leaving the reading there. Whatever you're up to this weekend, enjoy it. Take care of you. And of course, I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, Libra. Bye now.